Hey everybody, Broken Back Gamer here. Just want to put out a quick video to answer one simple question that's I'm not sure on a lot of people's minds is, will this work on my older system? We're going to go ahead and find that out today. I have a system that's from 2009, so that's pretty much ancient in computer terms. I'm going to go ahead and play some games and we're going to find out if you can use this on an older system or not. Let's go check it out. Like me, I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that want to enjoy the Vive but don't have $1,500 plus dollars to spend on a brand new computer system. So I'm fa I fall into that category. So I had a system that I purchased back in 2009. It was about $1,100. It was, I would assume it's, it was closer to the higher end. And I really wanted to find out if this older system was capable of running the Vive, even though the specifications stated that it needed a newer chipset and whatnot. So, so here are the specifications of the computer that I'm currently using to show you the Vive. It's a Thermaltake Speedo case with a EVGA um, LGA 1366. Intel X58 motherboard. I have a Zaleman um, CPU cooler, <clears throat> a Corsair uh, 850 watt uh, ATX PSU, an Intel Core i7 920 Bloomfield. Uh, it was originally a quad core 2.66 gigahertz, which I uh, overclocked to 3.5. I have 16 gigs of G-Skill Ripsaw RAM, and I have a MSI uh, GeForce GTX 970. So now I'm going to start up some of the games, and we'll see how it runs. Kitchen. Do I see an aspiring chef? Hello, human. This is an accurate simulation of Gourmet Chef. We'll start by making some breakfast. Turn on the grill and let's get frying. Mm. 
Now put your creations on the plate and you can ring the bell to send it out to the restaurant. Ooh, that one's getting pretty well done. Don't worry, we'll serve it anyway. The smoothie is one of the most efficient forms of human food. Simply take some of your inefficient solid food and put it through the blender. Looks good. Pour it out into a cup and then we can serve it.
Now, I know a lot of you might not have the same setup as me, but at least we can use this as kind of a starting point to try to figure out if your system will work. So you know if at least you have a, a Core i7 that's even maybe the first generation, it will probably still work. And then if you have a Core i5 that can at least be overclocked to 3.5 or more, that's our, even if it's an older i5, it still will work. I think the biggest thing here is the graphics card, and that's the uh, 970. That's the bottom of the barrel, but at least you saw it'll definitely get you through the games. Now, on the longbow game that I was playing, I didn't really notice any stuttering, any jerking around, any latency issues, but on the more graphic intense uh, job simulator was a lot more going on. I definitely did notice some uh, latency issues, some some dropping of the frames and some juddering around which kind of made me a little nauseous. I don't know if that's because my system is older or if because the 970 is just where it needs to be to get you to play these games. I wish I could tell you a little more but that's all the hardware I have for right now until I can get like a 980 Ti uh, I'm saving up enough money for that so hopefully I'll be able to get one of those hopefully soon uh, and then a new system to try it on so like I said at least this is a starting point so we kinda know uh, for everybody out there that if you do have an older system you should still be able to play uh, with the Vive even if it's an older system you just need to upgrade that that video card which is a lot less than buying a whole new system so hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, if you could um, if you have an older system with a vibe go ahead and drop your your specs in the comments below so we can kind of build uh, a little list of what will work and uh, what won't so I hope this video helped out a lot of you that might have had that question um, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, and as always, I'll leave a comment in the box below, and if it's a question, I'll definitely do my best to try to answer it for you. Again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, there will be more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.